entertain the crowd. 52,000 people, they say, filed onto the base to watch day one of the Blue Angels homecoming air show. Telfy's Ellie Norton has some of the highlights from today and the spectacular night show. What a day. We had big crowds, wonderful weather, a spectacular show. It's no wonder that people make it a point to come back every year. It's a Pensacola Veterans Day tradition. Watching planes, eating good food, and spending time with family who have given their time to defend our country. I mean, my dad was gone a few times whenever I was little, so it's just nice to be able to celebrate him and all the soldiers who have been overseas and stuff like that. That's what makes these performances so special. For some, it's a reminder of days past. I really appreciate everything they do because we wouldn't be able to have half well, none of the stuff that we have without them sacrificing everything that they have for us. So I really appreciate everyone being here and being able to be down here. Bob Johansson says Pensacola is one of his favorite places to perform because it's a tight-knit military community. He's been flying with the Geico Skytypers for 40 years. I spent some time in Pensacola while I was in the Navy for five years, and uh, it's it's kind of like coming home. And, uh, and as I said before, uh, a lot of our uh, pilots, just about all of them, are have military experience. The SNJ Warbirds are one of 17 acts of the show. The finale, of course, our very own Blue Angels. Are you excited to see the Blue Angels? Yeah, that's a definite. As Liam points out to me, there's a reason it's called the Blue Angels. Coming show. It's all about the blues, and they sure did not disappoint. The six Hornet pilots spent around an hour in the sky, showing off why they're the pride of Pensacola. As the sun went down, more planes went up. Talk about a solid relationship. Dynamic duo Greg and Ashley Shelton. He's flying the 450 Super Steerman. That's her strapped to the top. The Friday night show was a display of lights and sound. It made for an exciting return of the U.S. Navy Leapfrog's parachute team. They'll all be back Saturday, minus the flares. On Saturday, gates open at 8 o'clock, and then the show starts at 9. Blue's scheduled to fly at 2 o'clock. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be a great one. For now, reporting on board NAS Pensacola, Allie Norton, Channel 3 News. Well, here's show. Free to get in, bring some money, a lot of good uh, things to do, and some great food as well.